All right, I'm about to show you something that uh, it's been kicking my ass for a while here. Um, it's a downgrade from iOS 5.1 to iOS 5.0.1. Um, this is going to be using Tiny Umbrella on a Mac. Um, I guess on a Windows, iFaith, and all that stuff works pretty good. So I'm just going to stick with Tiny Umbrella on a Mac. Um, uh, like I said, this has been kicking my butt for a while because uh, Tiny Umbrella used to work so well before with iOS 4, but now um, with iOS 5, it's getting really tough to use it. you got to know what you're doing. And it took me forever to figure this out. Um, but what you're going to need is you're going to need uh, Tiny Umbrella. Uh, you're going to need Red Snow, um, the latest version of Red Snow, and uh, your whatever I IP, um, your uh, IPSW you're going to uh, need. <clears throat> I'm doing a iPod Touch 4th uh, Gen. Um, uh, uh, everything will be below as far as uh, downloads um, in the description um, but uh, alright so go ahead and uh, uh, download the latest um, uh, version of Tiny Umbrella and the latest version of Red Snow and if you don't know how to save your um, your SHSH files with um, uh, your SHSH blobs with uh, Tiny Umbrella just um, uh, just download Tiny Umbrella, and it's real easy. It's all set up for you, and I'll go ahead and show you what um, what settings you should have on your uh, Tiny Umbrella. So I'm opening Tiny Umbrella right now. Okay, all right, and uh, here is um, here's the iPod I've been using. But um, you go to Advanced, and um, this is this is what your um, this is what your settings should look like. Right here, it uh, have this unchecked, and then it's all set up for you. You shouldn't have to mess with anything. But all you would have to do is just to plug in your device, highlight it, go to general, and then hit save SHSH, um, and then it'll save it. And you'll see at the bottom here, um, save SHSH. Go ahead and see at the bottom, it's saving. and it's saved okay and then once you're done doing that um, your uh, SHSH blobs are saved and then if you so happen to upgrade to iOS 5.1 and you didn't mean to which I I meant to because uh, this particular iPod I uh, use for my daughter basically to keep her quiet in the car and watch movies um, and uh, and so I updated it to 5.1 but now I got her an iPad 3 and I want to sell this iPod Touch and so I get a little bit more money if it's jailbroke. So I wanted to downgrade firmware. Well anyway, well anyway like I said this was kicking my ass and, um, and I finally figured out how to do it. Um, you want to save your SHSH blobs, okay? Um, and I want you to do something real quick right now. Basically you're going to go to Advanced and Tiny Umbrella, okay? And right there is the path that it saves to. Right here, I want you to highlight that. I want you to copy it with a Mac. You hit Command C. And um, basically, if you, if you were to go to look for that file, you wouldn't be able to find it. It's a hidden directory. So what you have to do is uh, just click on your background. You go to Go, and then go to Folder, and then you're gonna uh, Command V, and it's already there from when I did it last time. You can hit Go. And it's gonna go. Yeah, for a sec, I guess uh, maybe I, uh, um, I moved it earlier, but uh, but anyway. So you go to your SHSH blobs, you'd find it, and there it is. iPod for um, 5.0.1 SHSH. Okay, um, in that um, in that folder that you have on your desktop, that's gonna have your IPSW and Red Snow in it. I want you to hold the Option button, which is to copy and then drag um, this folder or this file this blob into that folder and then release and it'll copy it and then there it is okay you don't need that SHSH folder anymore alright so right now we have Red Snow we got your iPod 4th gen 5.0.1 firmware and you have your SHSH blob that you saved okay and so now we're gonna open Red Snow Okay, you're going to click on extras, and what we need to do right now is we need to stitch your 
SHSH blob into your IPSW um, and so basically you're going to go to um, preferences nope back what are we going to do what did I do uh, SHSH okay uh, click on SHSH blobs and then you're going to go to stitch okay you're going to click your IPSW and there it is IPA4 for uh, 5.0.1, you're going to click that. You can click uh, local, uh, stitch a local blob file. Okay, and then it's right in there. And then it's going to go ahead and do it. This takes a minute, so I'm going to have to stop the video here while this does it. But it takes uh, takes about five, uh, ten minutes at the most to do. So I'm going to stop the video right here. Stitching done. Hit OK. Okay, now you're going to have this file. It's like it's going to have a number. And so you can see your um, your stock uh, IPSW firmware right here. You know iPod 4 5.0.1. Okay, so that's not the one you're going to use when you're um, when you're uh, restoring through iTunes. You're going to use the one that it stitched and it made, and it's going to have a number. Then it's going to say iPod 4 and then restore. Okay, so this is the one you're going to need right here, this guy. All right, and so now we're going to go ahead and put it in Pwn DFU mode. Okay. And you can use Red Snow for that. You can use Pawn H Tool. Um, and so basically, you're going to hit, um, um, you're going to go to the, um, okay, here we go. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go from the uh, from here so you know where to go. You're going to get Extras and then Pwn DFU. Okay. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and put in Pwn DFU mode. And how to do that is we're going to go ahead and um, hold the Home and uh, power button for 10, 10 seconds. So press them together. Um, home and power button. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Release the power button and keep holding the home button. And then what I do is I just click next. Keep holding the home button. And then it's exploring with a lime rain. Put me in the pwn DFU. And we're going. And we're good. We are in Pwn DFU mode. Okay. Now, we're going to go ahead, and when I do this too, I always close, um, I, uh, I quit um, uh, uh, Tiny Umbrella, and I, I open a whole new one up. That's me and my daughter right there. She's so beautiful. Um, <clears throat> let's see. Tiny Umbrella. Open Tiny Umbrella, okay? So we're in Pwn DFU mode. All right. And then, on the side, right here, you're going to see which one you're going to do. Okay, I'm going to click on right there. That's the one we're going to do. This uh, this SHSH blob. And we're going to go ahead and start the TSS server. Okay, now you're ready to go ahead and open iTunes and restore with that stitched firmware. So go ahead and open iTunes. It's going to go, hey, you're in, you're in recovery. This program right here, tune up. It's cool, but it keeps opening with iTunes. I hate when it does that. Anyway, okay, so you're at your restore point right here. All right, you can hold Option if you got a Mac, Option, and Shift if you uh, have a uh, um, Windows, but Option, you can click Restore. Come on, click. Uh, I'm trying to do this with one hand. There we go. All right, and then you're going to click. You're gonna click. Uh, you're gonna click that firmware right there, um, the one that the stitch firmware. So click it, and then let's go ahead and extract, and go through the restore process. Restore. You'll be on 5.0.1, and you'll be good to go. It is a untethered jailbreak out for it with Red Snow. So go ahead and jailbreak it and do your thing. Um, like I said, uh, um, this should go through the restore process fine, not giving you any error codes or anything. But it will go through the restore process. However, if it does and you get an error code at the very end, just uh, go ahead and click uh, on Tiny Umbrella. Go ahead and click either uh, Fix Recovery or Exit Recovery. And it'll exit and you'll be on, uh, it'll have your uh, 5.0.1 firmware. And so that's it. That's all I got. My name is Craig. Uh, thanks. Uh, go ahead and uh, give me a thumbs up there. Subscribe or whatever you YouTubers do. I'm new to this whole game. I'm just showing you what was kicking my ass for so long, so thanks.